NASA discovers its first ever second Earth. What's up friends and welcome to Inform Overload. I'm the Pompadour Prince, Johnny Rogers, and if you happen to be new to the channel, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and then we make them more entertaining. Plus don't forget to stick around to the end where I will be answering some of your comments from previous videos. If you weren't aware of this, NASA currently has a satellite out in the cosmos called TESS, which stands for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and TESS just made a massive discovery while floating out in the stars. The the satellite has discovered its first ever Earth sized exoplanet. Currently, the planet's name is HD 21749C and is the smallest world outside of our own solar system that TESS has been able to identify. I'm sure, much like me, you're not that impressed by the name though, but it makes sense once looking at the paper published in the Astrophysical Journal. The MIT led team of astronomers reported that the new exoplanet orbits the star HD 21749, which is about 52 light years from Earth. The star also has a second planet known as HD 21749b, which is referred to as Neptune but kind of warm. Which brings us to HD 21749c, the Earth sized planet. While it may be Earth sized, the planet is most likely not ready for human like creatures to be roaming around. Because it circles the star I mentioned in close to 8 days, that makes for a really close orbit which causes the temperature of the surface to rise upwards of 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's hot. Although keeping that in mind, our own planet was once a barren wasteland of not too many creatures being able to survive, both in ice ages and in extreme heat. The discovery of a planet that's the same size as ours though is very exciting. It shows that TESS can properly identify smaller planets orbiting nearby stars. The team is very hopeful that in the future TESS will be able to identify planets with a kind of colder surface temperature than 800 degrees, which means the conditions will be great to host life. TESS first launched this time last year and has been on a mission to track down planets like this. Not a bad turnaround time if you ask me. However, the team still has a long way to go. In the span of two years since launching tests, the astronomy community is aiming to identify 50 small rocky planets at least. So far they've been able to discover 10 other planets that are slightly smaller than Neptune. Although the team wrote in a paper that these planets most likely won't be able to host life for a while. Although it's a good indicator that many more are to be found. The way they discover the Earth sized planet is very interesting too. Lead author and test member Diana Dragomir coolest name ever, who is a postdoc in MIT's Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research said, we know these planets often come in families, so we searched all of the data again and this small signal came up. That signal that the team identified was a small dip in the light from the star around the second Earth. The signal would happen every 7.8 days, which indicated that the star's light was being blocked for a moment by a planet roughly the same size as the Earth. Dragomir ended her research paper by saying, this new test discovery could lead to the first mass measurement of an Earth-sized planet, and we're excited about what that mass and we're excited about what that mass could be. Will it be Earth's mass or heavier? We don't really know. I want to get your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below if you would move to the second Earth. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, UK is banning adult films. Stuff152 says, VPNs sure will be making a lot of money specifically in the UK. They'll probably start cracking down on those too once they realize that everyone is circumventing their system. Young JJ plays GTA says, next video UK is banning YouTube. God, let's hope it doesn't get to that. I mean, I think Tumblr is first. Tumblr is first. Pearson Fan says, I like big Bacon King, to be honest. Why, thank you, Pearson. I just had to move away from the food kingdom, I guess, for a little while. Just Monica says, also, no offense, keep doing videos with Charlotte. I'm starting to bear you now. Monica throwing shade with a side of compliments. Full side of compliments on the shade. Appreciate it, salty Monica. Kevin Azell says, I'm giving this video a thumbs up just for the accents. I should not do accents. Every time I start, it morphs into like four other accents, but I appreciate the thumbs up and the comments. So here's a feature for you, Kevin. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Green. And if you see any new stories that you want us to cover, find our Instagram down in the description below. Send us a DM, and if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.